Ready? Yeah. Go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the yeah, love the is so that's, strong. That's it's just like... <laughs> Perfect. Hi, everybody. It's Sunny coming at you from Saga Prefecture, Japan. Saga Prefecture is the smallest prefecture on Kyushu, but wow is it stunning. I hope I can do it justice in this video. It's most famous for its porcelain and ceramics. Joga Omikuji, a kind of Japanese fortune teller in paper form. one from the bottom. I think there's a spider in there. <laughs> Bad idea. You usually pay a hundred yen or so for it. If you get the best one, you keep it. If not, you tie it up and leave it there. Whoa, Daikichi. It's oh, the okay. best one. Best really? one, yeah. So I'm walking through this path alongside the lake, totally alone, because the boys are very afraid of all the spider webs all over the place. Oh, I was in there, man. I was in there. <laughs> no. Oh, thank God I didn't see those before I went in there. <laughs> but I'm just looking not to disturb any of them or anything, and I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> but I don't know if I want to talk and walk just in case I walk into the middle of a spider web. <laughs> Walking in a spider web, leave a message and I'll call you back. Now I'm going to have that stuck in my head. The spider webs were in all the bushes and trees surrounding the paths, and even blocked some. Whoa! Okay. I wanted to go this way, but we we cannot cannot go this way. Can you see the giant spider? And the giant spider web. Uh, Would have been pretty. Kagamiyama, or Mount Kagami, is over 930 feet tall, or about 284 meters. And this park not only has a temple, but also a lake full of koi fish and plenty of walking paths all around. The trees separating the coast from Saga City act as a barrier to protect it. Around May, these terraces are flooded with water and apparently look spectacular as the sun is setting. There's almost 300 terraces here. So Yusuke really wanted to take us to Saga. This entire trip was his idea and he uh, borrowed his parents' car for today, which is really cool. I can see why he loves it here so much. It's really beautiful. We're now heading towards these rice paddies that are right by the ocean and they're the terrace style rice paddies. So they're built into the mountains and it's, oh, it's breathtaking, really it is. One, two, three. <laughs> that was really loud. Why you do it so loud. I think that was my fault. Alright, three. You wanna do it softer? Two. One. one. That one was you, that was really loud. I think yeah. it's just really loud. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the yeah, love is so that's, strong. That's the best way. It's just like <laughs> perfect. <laughs> So this area of Saga is apparently very romantic. You can see all the hearts behind me that couples have written together. Uh, it kind of reminds me of like love locks in Europe. And then they have these signs that are advertising how like romantic it is here. It'd be a really nice place to propose, honestly. The typhoon brought all of this hot air with it and 
it's nice. It's really, really nice. We have these beautiful blue skies now that the typhoon is gone and everything, but holy cow, it is so hot. It is so freaking hot today, and it's October. It's really crazy. The geology in this area was breathtaking and reminded me of parts of Northern Ireland and Scotland. Can you smell the ocean? Can you? Can you smell it? Nanatsugama Koen translates to Seven Pots Park. The sea in this area is usually really calm, but due to the typhoon, we were treated to some amazing waves. You can usually take a boat ride from April to November down by these caves and into the largest one, but they were canceled that day due to the rough waters. There's also hiking paths we took, and we saw a lot of people fishing. We raced against the sun to try and get to Futamigarua Beach in time to watch it set there. Okay, so now we're in Itoshima at Kamigawa. Futamigawa. Okay, ready? You say it. <laughs> okay. Can I say it? Mm, so, here, Tamigaura in Itoshima. Yeah, because I can't pronounce it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> This area is technically in Fukuoka again and not in Saga, and it was on our way back home. Tori gates represent the division of our world and the sacred world. They come in all different colors, materials, styles, and sizes. They're seen as entranceways. The wetted rocks are connected with a shimenawa, which is a thick rope made from rice straw. During certain times of the year, the sun sets directly behind the tori gate and between these two wetted rocks. This was the perfect way to end this wonderful day. What do you guys think of Yusuke's planning? There's a really famous shrine here, um, and a lot of people, right there, uh, a lot of people are here to watch the sunset, and it's really beautiful. I snapped a bunch of pictures, um, and then the sun kind of got blocked by some clouds. So I'm really glad that I immediately started taking pictures. Well, that was an awesome day, and we are ending it at Sushiro. Um, but we're gonna have to wait like an hour to get food because it is so popular. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this stay with us. Uh, the really cool thing about leaving Fukuoka City is that Joe and I can show our tattoos because people here will assume that we're tourists instead of knowing that we're teachers and then us potentially getting fired. So I got to wear like an outfit that I actually wanted to wear that shows both my tattoos uh, that I used to wear in Scotland all the time. So that's cool. But then every once in a while, you get like this feeling like, oh my God, I, I'm gonna get fired. I can't believe I forgot to not show my tattoos or like your, your heart just jumps. Um, but anyway. <laughs>
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really liked it, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you've subscribed, make sure to hit the little bell icon next to the subscription box so that you get a notification every time I upload a new video. So thank you so much. I will see you next time. Bye.